the real fishing here. I want to show you these uh, crankbaits. There's a little story behind this here. I was recently at a kind of like an annual sporting goods uh, fisherman's hunting show here in New Jersey. They do every January. And one of the vendors, they, a lot of guys are just moving old stuff that's from last year, even the year before. They had these huge bins just full of old stuff. You could pick through it and find various things. And one of those bins, I saw this lure. And it was as you see it right here. It didn't actually have a box. It was just in a piece of plastic. Actually, it was this plastic, but without that black backing. It was in there, and it just had some tape over the back. But I saw it from a distance. I said, you know, what is that? Is I th It looked like a custom lure. And I was really impressed by the, the sequencing and the quality of the paint job. I thought it might be custom just because of the detail. The gloss, uh, you know, like the enamel, the outer layer of it, was really, really thick. And it, it looked like a high-end lure, and it was in this bargain bin. So I, I, I saw two in there, and uh, I wasn't going to buy anything, but I said, man, I, I've never seen these before, um, uh, this particular pattern. And uh, because it was in the bargain bin, it was only, what was it, $5? So uh, so I bought it. I bought a pair of them, actually. I was going to buy just one. I said, ah, you know what, I'll, I might lose that. I was like, that's a really good looking lure. Let me just pick up the both of them that I see. <clears throat> then I got home, and I got to doing some looking around. I said, what is this thing? So I went on Tackle Warehouse. I checked all the square bills. I, I just looked all over. So eventually I found out, doing a search for bluegill square bill, um, I saw a really, really small image, uh, doing a Google image search of this exact bait. And I traced it back to an eBay store. And that eBay store is this company. FishKDS.com Now if you go to that site, it's just going to forward you to eBay. There's not an actual physical site. It's just an eBay store. But I went there and I confirmed it. And as you can see, here is the 1.5 and the 2.5 versions. So that is the uh, this KDS brand. And so here's the deal with these lures. Um, just came across them. It seems like a real small outfit. I think it's just a guy or maybe a couple guys. And what I think is going on, and this is a heads up to my viewers, um, I don't, I don't have a lot of like the real high end stuff. I just I I can't bring myself to pay like more than ten dollars for a single bait. But I see people do videos with like Lucky Craft, I see them in stores and some of the other brands and they're, they're beautiful. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. But I always say to myself, you know what, I'd like to own one, but do I think it's going to fish better or am I, am I getting caught here? Is that a beautiful bait that, you know, I'm showing out the money, you know, they got me on that one. And I always hesitate because I'm like, you know what, I have lures that catch fish just fine. I don't need it to be beautiful. This is like a work of art. Um, you know, if it was $5 like this one was, I'd go for it. So, why am I mentioning all that? So here's the deal. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there's a lot of places, like here's one, for example, uh, Jan's Netcraft, where you can get unpainted bodies. And there's one. Let me bust out my computer for you here. Basically what I'm getting at here is... From, all, from what I could tell, and I'm being real anal, like I'm looking at the subtleties of this design, the subtleties of the mold, the mold that they pour the plastic into. If you want to get a Lucky Craft, what is this one here? Um, there's a couple different series. Some are silent, some have one knockers. You know, people who know Lucky Craft know better than me. But if you want to get this lore, and if you don't want to pay that, um, you can go to eBay and look up Mr. Fish KDS, and from what I could tell, it's the same thing. I'm sure there's been people who say, no, no, it's a, it's a knockoff, and you know, I don't know if it is or not. Do a little searching around here, you can find other things. Um, I was just watching a video on Rick Klun. Now, Rick Klun, of course, is saying, you know, you got to get lucky, Craft. There's knockouts, knockoffs out there, but none of them perform the same. That may, that may be true. It may not be true. It may be incentive for people to shell out four times as much for Lucky Craft. You, I would, you know, I just, now I'm going to buy one actually, <laughs> a, a real one, and try them head by head, side by side, to see if there's any difference in performance. Because honestly, I think it's just um, Lucky Craft is doing their own custom paint jobs. So, like, here's an example. 
there's various companies out there that do this. You can get these unpainted. Um, oh, I'm losing my focus. You can get these unpainted molds, and this is a Lucky Craft 1.5. Says right there, shallow diver, etc., etc. You can get it in various rattle configurations, 2.5 silent. So, uh, thing to note here is the price. Two dollars. We can look at another site. Lucky Craft 2.5 unpainted. What was this one? $1.60. Now you may be saying it's not the same. There's a lot of shapes like that. And that's where I got to looking into it. So let's blow this up. This is the best image I could find on Tackle Warehouse. And let's look at some of the specifics of the lure and see if it's the same. Okay. Right here you have lines full kind of like vertical slanted lines there's a little line that runs across the body there and from that point it separates these straight slants from where they're kind of diamond cut so that line defines that and the line obviously has a little bit of a gradual upslope to it and um, you know you can just see the percentage of how much of the body is below and how much is uh, above and below distinct gill plate here with one slash there coming around like a C here and wide at the top. Let's focus in on my little guy here. Okay, so there's our little upswept line going across. There's your little turn upwards. You can see the checkering, the diamond scaling on the upper half, and you can see the more vertical swept back um, part of the mold on the lower half of that line. There's your pronounced gill plate. You could even see it comes to a little bit of a point here, right at the. Let's focus in there. We're going to need focus for this. See that tip there, right? Comes a little bit of a point, just like right there. A little bit of a point. And let's look at that gill structure. Let's get the focus going here. Okay, there we go. So there's the lower slash. Here's that C-shaped C -shaped slash with the little divergence being that Y up at the top. Okay, and again, there it is with that little cut Y at the top. If we actually make this small, these pictures look to actually be to scale. It's actually, you know, there's no extra uh, enlarging or minimizing of it. That's actually the, the true scale, which is pretty interesting. I can see in here that the line tie, the bottom portion of it, is actually embedded in the lip so that the line tie doesn't move left or right. The bottom portion of it is in the, the plastic itself. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with the focus here. There we go. You can see that there. And uh, you can see the shape of the mouth. It's hard going back and forth here with the focus. Shape of the mouth. And that's pretty much it. So, is this a Lucky Craft? It, basically, the question is: Is there a difference? Does Lucky Craft have some specialty to their mold, which justifies a fourfold price increase, or are you better off going with guys like KDS, who spend a dollar sixty or two dollars on an unpainted one? and put on their own custom paint job. And if they're buying in bulk, they're probably even doing a little bit better this. So, you know, which some people, you know, they're going to be name brand no matter what. I would hesitate to think that if all these details in the mold are the same, that it is the same lore. Exactly the same lore. Now, if there's finishes that Lucky Craft has and they do have a lot of nice finishes, you know, that would be a reason if you insist upon, you know, one of these colors and that's what works for you or you just love it 
you know, you're not going to get that. These guys KDS, they have uh, they have a number of finishes which are different than any of the Lucky Craft ones. Um, let's get back to them here. So um, I picked up two in the 1.5 size, and uh, the bluegill is very much the same as the one I was just showing you. A little different on the back though, some variation here. This back is a little bit darker, this one's a little bit lighter, but you could see it was probably just the paint they had, you know, just lightening it up for the day or whatever. Same pattern, just a slightly different color. Splattering of that blue along the cheek there. So it's a 1.5. Here it is in a cool baby bass. One point five. Guess I could take some of these things out, right? Here's a. Um, let's get this angled down a little bit. There's a classic chartreuse in black. And a two point five. Something they do, these guys, they just put these little rubber things on all their hooks. It's kind of like their signature thing. I've noticed on these, I, I suspected on these that there was a two rattle system, and I confirmed it when I had this clear one here. Um, there is a rattle, one big um, ball that's enchambered into a little, you can kind of see it there, right at the tip of my finger. There's one, and it just goes a little bit back and forth in this dimension to left, right, left, right. That creates a larger knocking sound. There's three other smaller ones which are free to go about. So it's pretty cool. You have a, um, a deeper cadence for the one knocker that's just left and right. And those other ones have a much higher pitch, um, you know, just all over the place. Like, it's a horrible impersonation. But I just, I like the duality to it. There's, there's a, high, a high pitch and a, a low pitch to it. And then uh, I picked up this color because I've never seen anything quite like that. Uh, having that upswept portion there with the black, very unique. So we got this here. You can see that same gill structure in the, the molding. There's that line in the ridges. Uh, claimed length is the same, claimed weight is the same as the Lucky Crafts, all identical. And you can see when I put it up against the screen, I mean, angle of the bill, just everything is identical. So the real thing here, and I, I, I don't know if I had mentioned it yet, but I should have. The main thing is here, these cost $4. And I'll repeat that. These are $4. I think, actually, no, I'll take it back. I think it was $4.40 or something for uh, whether you're on 1.5 or 2.5. Um, you're looking at just a tick over four dollars. So why did I buy a couple crankbaits? I really didn't have any reason to buy any crankbaits, but in my mind it added up to I'm buying, let's see, 15, 30, 45, 60 dollars worth of lures for uh, what's 16, maybe like 18 dollars. I'm much more comfortable throwing that if something happens to it, if it gets lost, etc. But you know what? With these, I didn't even give up on quality of finishes. You can hear both those there. You can hear the smaller ones as well as that side to side. There's the small ones, rolling back and forth. And the side to side. Alright guys, so that's just a little food for thought. Take it as you will. Uh, if you think these are knockoffs and are not going to do the same thing, if they're just a cheap impersonation, you know, that's that's your opinion. If you think that this is a deal of the century, like I did, and that, uh, you know, Lucky Craft is branding and this is the same mold, just without all the hype and marketing and everything else, 
Um, and if you want to spend four dollars as opposed to sixteen, then you know that's an option too. Um, I don't fault anybody for going for the real things. And truth be told, I am going to buy a real one to put it head to head alongside one of these to see if there is any difference. But outwardly, I think most people would assume that this is the same mold. It's just a different paint job. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.